for. I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to be doing a story time. So I'm going to jump right into it. Once upon a time, a couple of years ago, I was in a show. I know, are we surprised? I don't think we should be. <laughs> we all know by now. I don't know. But anywho, I did a show. What show was it? Doesn't matter. Not important to the story. There was this guy that I was interested in. Now, mind you, this is before I met my amazing, perfect, wonderful husband. So, <laughs> yeah. Anywho, there was this guy who was the uh, ASM. If you don't know what that stands for, it stands for Assistant Stage Manager. Um, or Assistant to the Stage Manager. I'm just kidding myself later. Huh? But anywho, yeah, there was this guy who was the ASM. And he was totally into me. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. You know, he obviously was Videos. But I didn't know he was totally into me and I peeped it. I peeped it honestly, truly. I peeped it from the day that I first met him. No, the second day I met him. The first day, I don't really, I don't really think I thought it. But the second day, I remember I saw this gorgeous guy on the He wants me and he wants me bad. Let me stop. Let me stop. That's not true. But I remember I made this little joke in my head and I'm just like, I think he wants me because sometimes, like every couple of years, at least back when I was single, I would see a guy and I would see a twinkle in his eye and I would make a joke in my head about him liking me. Well, this time I was actually right. He was actually into me. You know, well, when I realized he was into me, I started flirting with him. I found him on Instagram, followed him on Instagram, and that turned into getting his number. And then that turned into um, I was talking to him and then he eventually asked me how to date. Fast forward like a week or a week and a half later, we go on this date. We were originally supposed to go to this one restaurant, but it was closed, even though Google lied to me and told me that they were open. I know, but no, I can't even. We go to this different restaurant at this mall that I know of because I was like, oh, this restaurant's cute or whatever, so we can just go here. Um, and we parked in a completely separate places. I parked, because I used to work at this mall, not at that restaurant, but at a different store in the mall. So I was very accustomed to parking in one particular area and he actually, like a person who has logic, parked near the restaurant. <laughs> so we had dinner, he pays, and then he's like, yeah, let's get out of here, let's go somewhere else. And I'm like, nah, fam, do you see the time? It's time for me to walk out. So I told him where I parked and he was like, bro, why'd you park so far? And I was like, I'm like, so good. So anywho, we walk from the restaurant all the way to my car and then yada 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 um he was just like so you're not gonna make me walk all the way back to my car and i was like mm, don't worry about it i got you baby so i drove my car all the way to back to the section where the restaurant was in and i actually went to pass his car because i thought he was going into a different car in the parking lot because it was super late and there were like no cars almost no cars in the parking lot at this point because it was like 10 p.m i think so anywho i drive past his car he's like oh no my car's down over there and then as i come back around to park near his car he was like bro what the heck and i was like what and he was like somebody smashed my windshield and i was just thinking bro what what do you mean so i pull up next to his car and sure enough somebody smashed this guy's windshield now the glass wasn't like inside the car, like it, it hadn't broken off, thankfully, but it was completely shattered. And it was frightening. I got goosebumps because I was just like, oh my God, that's bad. That's horrifying, who would do that? And the gag is homeboy wasn't even from that city. I lived in that city at the time, but he didn't. At the time, I don't know, I think he lived like 30, 40 minutes away from that city. So I'm like, bro, are you, you got beef with in the city. You was supposed to see your car. Maybe it was a mistaken identity issue. Maybe people were just a ghetto. But girl, the craziest part is that there were, well, outside of his windshield being shattered, I think that's the actual craziest part. But tell me why the roof was dented in, there were dents in the roof, and there were dusty footprints. Bruh dusty footprints i was like bro i knew this city was ghetto but i didn't know it was that ghetto i didn't know it was that ghetto i was like bro bro i am so sorry like even though it wasn't my fault i am so sorry i i knew this was the hood and i didn't know it was that 
you know, I didn't realize I lived in Bridgeport. Like, I'm so sorry. My theory is the person or people who did it were out here busting a move, acting like they were trying to re recreate Happy Feet or something, right? They were acting like they were in a Chicago music video, right? Busting a move, breaking it down, and they like, fell on the windshield, and then they ran away. Their feet were on the roof, trying to do one of the little TikTok dances, and they fell, shattered the windshield, and then they ran off. You know, honestly, truly, I don't know if it would have been possible to get some security cameras. Because that's what I would have wanted to do. Honestly, truly, it was it was so surprising that homeboy didn't cry. Because I would have cried. I would have cried my eyes out. And thankfully, he did make it home safe. But that, like, the glass didn't end up, like, coming off and, like, coming into his car when he drove home. Did he have a long And he was able to get another car after that, he was with insurance or something. I don't, know, I don't know what he said, but that was the first and last date we ever went on. Nah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting like I'm sad. <laughs> I don't care, I'm married now. <laughs> so either way, I win. But anywho, yeah, that was crazy. That was one of the craziest things I've ever done. I knew the date in and of itself was fine, but the fact that a crime happened, that was pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. So, any of us that end up like this little pretty story. If you didn't hate this video, can like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm trying to put out more content. It's hard to be consistent because every time I want to put out a video, something happens. You know, I was gonna film a vlog last week because I was gonna see the notebook on Broadway, and that's freaking why my phone broke. So I couldn't go because, you know, unfortunately my phone like my whole life is there and my tickets were on my phone and my train tickets were on my phone just everything was on my phone. So I couldn't go. But anywho, <sighs> more vlogs. I, I'm gonna start a little bit serious. Um, I'll tell you about it when it comes. Hopefully the series actually happens again. I wanna start a little bit. <laughs> Not a vlog series, don't worry. Don't worry, it's gonna be a vlog series. <laughs> But anyhow, if you didn't hate this video, you can like, subscribe, share it with your friends. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.